Hi guys, gals and non-binary pals, welcome back to Budget with Ira. In today's video, we're going to be checking in for week three of October's budget. And this video is pre-recorded, obviously, because at the moment I'm on a mini break with friends. So I'm really, really, obviously, probably, probably probably enjoying myself so thank you for allowing me to be in a position to be able to do that in the first place however let's talk about today's video so in today's video we're going to be looking at my spends on spending money petrol household all sorts of stuff and if you remember from the last video it was going to be a tough week so we started the new wild card savings challenges for groceries and i only had 20 pounds for groceries so you're going to see how i got on with that i also only had 10 pound for spending money as well and we had like hardly anything left over for household at the end of today's video we're going to be cash stuffing for the fourth and final week of october and because i'm on holiday for that week the sort of spending money is a lot more groceries money is weird like everything's a bit weird so stay tuned for the weirdness i guess <laughs> in today's video we are using my october budget booklet i think we've sold out of the monthlies i believe but i think there's a couple of weekly left so if you want one get your hands on it bestie it's completely customizable and you can do whatever you want with it bestie i mean there are exceptions so we're going to start in the calendar and look at my expenses so let's go ahead and take a look at this stunning budget booklet up close Okay, so we are here in my calendar. Uh, we've got the stunning October one with these gorgeous brownie hues. There are some kids playing football outside the house, but I don't really want to shout at them to move them on. I'm going to let them crack on and hopefully we can move past it and ignore it. But anyway, what we are doing right now is we are starting to lay down my expenses. We are doing expenses from the 16th to the 22nd. So let's get started. The 16th was a no spend day. On the 17th, I spent money at co-op. It was £4.95. I put £28 in my petrol tank, and that was the full amount that I gave myself. And the internet bill came out, and it was £26.99, a lot earlier than I was expecting it, but I had the money there. Tuesday was a no-spend day. My car insurance came out on the Wednesday, and it was £27.09. We had a no spend on the Thursday. We went shopping in Tesco on the Friday. So I decided that I would literally hold it off as late as I possibly could so that all we had to do was dinner for Friday, Saturday and the Sunday. And we only had 20 pounds and we needed a couple of bits. I know we needed bin bags. So we did spend household money as well. So that was uh, two pound 50. But um, yeah, what ended up happening is I went with Jake and we just egged each other on so much and we spent like 50 pounds. However, I'm not counting it as an unbudgeted spend because Jake just took care of the rest so so we spent the full 20 pounds and the full two pound 50 but there was extra but Jake just covered it and then the Saturday was a no spend day I'm doing quite well on Saturdays aren't I okay so next step is to move over to the check-in so let's go ahead and start checking in for week three okay I'm going to start by filling in everything that I know Okay, so for spending, we had the £10 that we gave ourselves, um, and then I spent £4.95, so I only really spent once. I went to the co-op and I bought, oh, those prawn cocktail what's-its. Like, incredible. Uh, that left me with a £5.5. For groceries, we stuffed £20. We literally spent the full £20 and then some, uh, which left us with zero. For petrol, we had the £28 that we stuffed and we spent the full £28. Those kids need to calm down and we have nothing left. For household, we didn't stuff anything, but we had the £2.50 left over from the last bit and we just spent the full £2.50. So now there's no household money left, but I wasn't expecting to be spending household money while we're on holiday anyway. And I am going to say that we had no unbudgeted spends because in my budget, there was nothing unbudgeted. And in Jake's budget, 
he's got his buffer and that's what he used. So like he's comfortable. So all in all, last week we stuffed 58 pounds, which isn't a lot of money at all, is it? Uh, and it's because we're like really reducing what we do with groceries. Um, and then we had the two pound 50 from household as well. And then what we actually spent was 55, 45 which is no rollover because the only thing we ever roll over is household and there's nothing left so we do have a week four to check in for so we're going to do that next week however next thing that we're going to do is deal with this five pound five and figure out how we're gonna deal with it Okay, so the only money we've actually got is this £5.5 from spending. So I do have some smaller envelopes in the 100 envelope challenge, but I kind of want to save them for if I really need them. So in this week, I don't really need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with £5.5 and I'm going to take away that... Look, I've already got ink on my fingers. I've just had a shower. I'm going to take away that 3 51 and That leaves me with one fifty-four. So yeah, I'm going to do the one fifty-four and the 351. Okay, so we're back here in the budget. So we're in the paycheck bill track a bit. And this is probably one of the most important parts of my budget to do. But we are just going to make sure that we are still on track with what we're spending. So First of all, we did do car insurance that came out. It was £27.9 and sometimes it does that, but I like to budget the £27.24 because sometimes it is £27.24. Sky didn't come out because that comes out on the 25th and we went up to the 22nd, but the internet did come out early for some reason and it was the correct amount though, so I'm not going to necessarily worry about it. So we've only actually got one bill left uh, and that's next week. So we've got the £26 and I do need to buy vape. But other than that, budget wise we are looking really really nice so our last step is to go ahead and cash stuff for next week so let's get that done bestie okay so we are here with my binder and we're here with weekly cash and normally we have a petrol envelope a groceries envelope and a spending envelope however my spending money is going to be a lot more than it normally is and we have no petrol money this month so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do groceries in the front and spending in the back and that's going to be everything i take on holiday and i think that's pretty smart of me if i don't say so myself bestie so let's move over first off we have groceries so groceries is 50 pounds so we've got 50 pounds however before we stuff that we are moving over to my brand new savings challenge which is the wild card challenge so this is my wild Wild card challenge and when you buy the wild card challenge you get a suite or a house of cards all in multicolors. and what I'm doing is I'm drawing a random card each month and whatever it is I will save it so I'm gonna quickly shuffle it a little bit and um, tell you thank you so much to everybody who has purchased one of these I didn't think it would be as successful as it was um, uh, it, it was a labor of love it was one of those things that I just had in my mind I wanted to get it done but I wanted it to be of high quality and bestie it is of high quality yeah so I'm pleased about it so I'm going to split the pack here and whatever this card is on top I will be saving out of my groceries money so that is a king which is 40. <laughs> I've literally got the two biggest cards so far <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you literally could not make this up. So that's £40. So I've got £10 for groceries. I mean, the great thing is, right, that um, I'm on holiday. So I don't necessarily need groceries, but I did want to contribute to the groceries. I'll just be using more of my spending money. So uh, these are the cards that we have left. But uh, like, at least the most it's going to be is £20 going forward. So I'm going to put them in the back of this challenge here so that I know that I've done it and I've put the king to the side and we have got £10 for this week so I mean bestie <laughs> it always happens that way with me doesn't it but like I'd, I'd rather get them out of the way if that makes sense but anyway let's move over to weekly cash so groceries is done we're not stuffing petrol today 
and now we have spending. So if you remember, I was saving a lot of money for spending in this week, just because we've got five days, we're gonna be going like pumpkin picking, we've, we've got so much planned. So um, let's go ahead and count this. So we've got two, four, six, eight, one, two, four, six, eight, two. So there is 200. However, it still makes sense to do the 1050 challenge because it's important to me. So I would rather do it and get it done. And also the good news is we just knocked out that last 20 last week. So if we get a 20, a 15, or a 10, or a nine, we just re-roll. So let me introduce this to you. This is my 1050 dice challenge available on my Etsy store. When you buy it, you get a 20-sided dice and you roll this and whatever the dice number tells you, you save. So I'm doing this every week and the money is coming out of my spending money. So I just wanna get this out of the way and done. So let's go ahead and roll this bad boy, 13. That was a rubbish roll, but <laughs> 13. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bit of change out of the, well, actually, let me get some change out of here because I know in car maintenance, I've got four 20s, four, te four fives, um, I think. Have I? No, 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 it's not that, it's water. The four fives, one, two, three, four. Cool, and I put a 20 in water. And then it's 13, so if I put into, where is it? I've got so many changes. So if I put 15 in there, I've got two pound change there already. So that's all right, isn't it? Cool. So for next week, I have got two, four, six, eight, one, two, four, six, eight, 187 which i think is not too bad at all like i'm okay and then we've got 10 pounds for groceries might as well call all of that the same money let's be honest so let's do that and this is my money that i'm going on holiday with i hope there are no unbudgeted spends in the final week because i feel like i've done really really well with the budget this month but um yeah so that's that done that's me done for holiday Thank you so much for being here with me this week. I appreciate it. I can't wait to tell you how my holiday went, bestie. Hi guys, guys, non bypass. Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are gonna comment, please use this emoji. We don't have any new patrons since the last video, but I do wanna say a massive thank you to everybody who supports me on every single platform, but especially the patrons, because that is significant support and it truly, truly helps me out. Patrons get early access to videos. They get a monthly cash stuffing exclusive to them. There's goodies delivered to you every single month. So if you would like to support me over on Patreon, please take a look at the link in the description. You will not regret it, bestie. And that is all I have for you this week. Thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate it so, so, so much. Thank you so much. I would like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And I will see you again very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching, bestie. Bye-bye.